Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me on a Saturday morning. That must mean it's cards in the mail to me. So I'm sharing loads of amazing cards and gifts and treats and boxes and things that have come in the post to me in the last month since the start of June. I can't believe we're at the start of July already. Goodness me. Okay, so I've got all sorts in here. I've been a very lucky girl. So I've got two here that I need to set to one side because they're both... Both the demos are cashing in vouchers and they want brand new Christmas stuff. So the catalogue goes live on the 4th of August and I can't order their stuff yet, but I wanted to show them and I need to set them off to one side so I don't forget to order them. So this one is from Jackie Calder. I just love it. That's too cute. And then this one is from Heidi, who is Flutter by Heidi. And she's made me a wobble card. I don't know how well you can see that. I love that. That is so cute. And I swear, I swear this team, they just come up with so many brilliant ways to cash in their vouchers. And that's, she's a pretty awesome demonstrator. If you've seen her on YouTube, you know that. So there's loads of vouchers in there. But yeah, they come up with such brilliant ways of showing their cards. And Jackie had some stuff in there as well. And they're just so talented. I love it. So I'm going to put, I'm very carefully putting them to one side so they can go back in a special pile on my desk then I had this one from this one was Karen Howell and she's Tuppence Coloured on YouTube and again she made me a special place to hold her vouchers she cashed in a big wadge as well but she made me a kitty cat one I love that she's got the most adorable flopsy silly kitty in the world please go and check out her YouTube because this cat just is like you know you wanted to do some trimming that ain't going to happen. So that one was from Karen. And then I had these three. So I should have been going on the Maui incentive trip. That should have been starting in a couple of days on Monday. And so on Friday, Jack and I should have been flying out there. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. But um, my team leader sent some stuff in the post to me. And so I have... Yes, I have a dashboard hula girl and Jack has said, can I put it in my new car? And I'm like, yeah, when you passed your test. <laughs> but I thought that was funny because it was meant to be Maui, Hawaii. I'm guessing these are pineapple chunks, given that it was, you know, Hawaii that we were meant to be. And then there's a limbo pole and uh, a lei as well. And then this as well. Very sweet. So those came in the post. And then our country manager, she popped this in the post to me as well, you know, just to say, I know you can't be celebrating there, but we're socially distancing celebrating you, which was really sweet. And this is the first, I think this is the first card I've had from her. So thank you, Liz. I love it. Okay, another big pile here. So this is the lovely Karen who put that in the post just to say thank you. Um, and I love it. She's Crafty Karen Designs. This is Jan. Now Jan's, so this is a big shout out to Sully and Eva. And I'm going to check that's Eva. Eda. Sully and Eda. So Jan's grandchildren made this. So thank you both. Thank you ever so much. And I'm not sure. I hope you can see that. They've embossed this section here and then they've put the whale on how cute i love it thank you ever so much um this was cashing in vouchers so this is anne in my team who has made this for me i know the name of this card and i now can't remember it because it's just exited my head but this is where she put her vouchers she cashed in a big watch too and these cards stand like this and i think so they stand it's standing and holding itself there and then balanced like that. Very clever. Let me turn that sideways so you could see. So that's how it balances. But love that. Love those. Got some more in here. Ah, oh, so this one here. This is the lovely Louisa Hall, who is in my team. And she recently heard that my beautiful fennel um, died in April and she'd only just heard and she sent me this and I had the most wonderful happy tears. The note she's written in there just touched my heart and I'm trying to try not to get emotional now. But she's made me she's she's made fennel. She put fennel on the front. And then this lovely, lovely mug. I love these kind of mugs. They're called inside out mugs. So there's cats inside and it says home is where my cat is. And then some sweets in there. So that was a complete surprise. And my time hop, my my memories on Facebook are full. Every three or four days there'll be a picture of fennel comes up. And I'd had a bit of a wobble that week. And then that arrived and I was just like, thank you. It was the perfect timing. Absolute perfect timing quick pause there 
somebody lost a game. Okay, so I have got these. These have come in from the amazing Jenny Grimble who sends me goodies every single month. There's two candles in here. These are two of my favourites. So Camellia Blossom was a recent release from um, Yankee Candle right before lockdown happened and I just about managed to get two candles and I've burned them both and I'm now out and so I've got one. A Midnight Jasmine. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. So I love those. Thank you, Jenny. And then in here here are little treats for my boys and some of them have had them they did they were very good they did say you know do you want to keep them in the video so I've still got three left but then she always puts treats in for my boys and the card is in there I'm not sure where it is it should be on the top with them um is this the one there it is so she sent me popped two cards in which is lovely I love the how that the, she's put both of them together to match so this one matches this but actually the layout of this one translates over onto that one I just love them they're gorgeous all right let me bring in some more I've got another pile here so I've got uh, so this one this is old paper I miss this paper and I can't remember the collection's name but it was to do with coffee how lovely is that? That is so, so lovely. This is Carol. Thank you ever so much, Carol. You're so sweet to have sent me that. And I'm not sure if you can see, but she's put Wink of Stella all over the coffee and the teacups. I don't know if that would tip. If you have a look at this one, maybe. I'm not sure you can see it, but I love it. And this as well. <laughs> personalized envelopes absolutely this one is from the gorgeous natalie arnold so she's part of my team and i set a challenge and she was one of the random winners and she sent me this beautiful card i've been told the style of card this is and i've forgotten and i want to say turkish napkin but i don't know that that's right but do go and have a look oh natalie i can't remember the name of your youtube off the top of my head oh natalie arnold there you go you'll go and find her that's lovely and it stands like that beautiful just gorgeous and then this one is <laughs> have a look at this one ah oh, this one came from overseas this is jody judy sorry who sent this to me from oregon oregon and I, do you know what? I know bits of American history. I do remember reading a brilliant book about the Oregon Trail, um, but that's as much as I know about Oregon. I want to get out back out to America and explore some more. I really, really do. Um, and this is a lady who was in my team and she popped that in the post to me. So beautiful. I love them. I love them so much. Oh, another big pile over here. Let me grab these ones. So this one is vouchers being cashed in lovely helen cash those ones in are these vouchers as well these are vouchers so this is from astrid who is in my team in austria yes austria i was trying to think. my team are, are literally in all five countries and there's vouchers in here she put vouchers in here and then she put a chocolate bar attached there i might possibly have eaten it straight away and i just love it and it's in the new magenta madness that pink is just divine it really is and then this fancy fold this fancy fold is from Yvonne who's put this together so I love that that's really clever I don't do fancy fold cards mostly the reason I don't do fancy fold cards is because although here in the UK Europe and actually every country in the world we work in A4 um but America doesn't. America works in eight and a half by 11. And I know that many of you watching are in America and your card stock is different to mine. So I don't make fancy fold cards for that reason, because not only is that me doing instructions for international A4 in metric and imperial, but that would be eight and a half by 11 as well, which gets complicated. But Yvonne has done. So this is, that's a, it's a seven by seven inch card because that's 14 is that seven no so that's four five sorry it's it's well it's 14 by 14 centimeters it's not even <laughs> easy inches but she's done a square card so actually i could possibly do a fancy fold card if i did it square okay i've got more here so this one 
oh this has got a card to go with it somewhere but this was full of vouchers so these are old style postcards that i used to send out to my team to congratulate them but i haven't i rebranded about a year ago but this was absolutely full of vouchers oh where's the card where was this with this one i don't remember but yeah it was full of vouchers that they were cashing in um is that this card this is sim did that come with sims i'm not sure so sim is in my team or was it sam so sam is curious moose crafts i don't remember there was just there was one day when they were all suddenly cashing in vouchers so sam is curious moose cards she does this one sim sim what's your blog name oh i want to say stamp by sim s-i-m i'm yeah i'm now going to get confused <laughs> these are i'm fairly sure this was karen i'm now going to get the names wrong so that was more vouchers how clever is that i love i love this style of little tree pouch um they were all cashing them in to get stuff from the brand new catalog <laughs> this one look at this absolutely jam-packed with vouchers I'm fairly sure. So this is Lynn, and I don't remember how many. I want to say that was two hundred pounds worth of vouchers that she cashed in. Just brilliant. I love it. She made me a book to cash them in. <laughs> that was a lot of vouchers. Um, I've got more little cards here. Look at this. This one. Yes, this is one of my. So this is uh, Celine over in France. So she's in my in my team over there. Uh, Maria Taylor in my team and this is Margaret thank you ever so much Margaret is a uh, shops with me it was all about the purple I think wasn't it <laughs> oh this was just a nice little note from my gorgeous Tina so Tina is Tina's creative in Germany and it's spelled K-R-E-A-T-I-V without the E on the end You'll find her on YouTube and her blog as well. Um, it was very hard not seeing my team this year, not having team events. And yeah, we've we've had to postpone our grand gala celebration that was happening in Alton Towers in April. Sorry, in May. That's had to be postponed, which is very hard and very sad. And normally we would have to get another get together in September. We'd have had a get together in November and the whole lot gone. And it's very hard and we all miss each other so much. But it this way, I did a Zoom call with Heidi, who um, made this. I did a Zoom call with her the other day for the first time. I, you know, that I've done, you know, seen her face to face. And I burst into tears the second her face appeared on the screen. I was like, I miss you because I'm a softy. Right. Who are these from? so this is janet who sends me cards regularly which is so sweet this is my lovely katrina um she uh just popped this in the post to me which was very sweet she's my car buddy she lives not far from me and um when we go to events she travels with me she's my my car chum and then debbie popped this in the post too so i've got loads and loads to share with you loads of inspiration um you're going to be asking about the boxes i know you are so this is louisa hall and her blog is Hall About Stamping. Yes, hallaboutstamping.co.uk. So it's a play on words with her surname. Oh, the postman's just turned up. This is where I find that there's something else in the post. Um, and then this box opens like that. So it's a triangular treat pouch, whereas I do square triangular treat pouches. So they're that size. She's done a, an elongated one. So that's on there. Um, you will find this design on my blog these ones that Jenny has made for me uh, for me which are very sweet and yeah we we all want to know how Heidi made this and it's I don't know if you can see under there there's a springy thingy and it makes it a wobbler so yeah the postman's there but yeah I had loads of loads of wonderful beautiful cards so many of them and they inspire me so much all these amazing people who send cards and boxes and goodies and treats and things to me and 
I love it. I love my job. I have the best job in the world. I really do. Let's bring in my, my hula girl as well. <coughs> I really do have the best job in the world. And I couldn't imagine not doing what I do. And I get to share this lot with you too. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye. Okay, so I know I said thank you very much for joining me and the postman had turned up, but there was one more that came in the post. So the beautiful card came from Kerry. So thank you ever so much. And it was a pleasure to sort the problem <laughs> and get it fixed. But I love this. This is so pretty. So we've got embossing here. We've got flowers and we've got glaze on here. Just so lovely. So finally, this is it. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.